In the past there were many creatures wandering our plain, from the elves in their mountain peaks, to the dragon folk in the cliffs and plains, the immortal people of the desert, the ocean gods and goddesses, but, undoubtedly the most mischievous were the fae in their flowering meadows, they were also the most vicious, their queen, strangely enough, did not inhabit these traits, in no way shape or form did the archfee Catherine Elizabeth of House Blossom have a vicious nor mischievous bone in her body, yet she was beloved, then the accident happened and the overgrown began to burn. Reports say that the queen stayed long enough to assist her people putting out the fires, carrying the buckets herself. But once dawn broke the queen was gone, only her crown was left behind. The last time she was seen she was leaving the undergrove, no clutched in her hands. No one would see her again. Well, not in that form. After 100 years of barely surviving, the people of the overgrown would report a spirit helping them with chores where others would report a spirit doing harmless pranks. The people considered her a fairly benign spirit, but when the Mythlandic Empire began to encroach on the overgrown her viciousness was put on display. It started with disease. The Mythlanders were dying in droves, coughing until they keeled over. Flowers would sprout from the corpses. That was her calling card. White tulips especially. The war was won by the time snow blew in from the mountains. Even with her protection eventually the overgrown fell and she hasn't been seen since. Well, until a sheriff with a familiar face ventured into the wrong passageway, 